。好嚟到呢個科學探究嘅第三條題目啦。嗱呢個題目咧，上年都係得四成零同學答啱嘅啫。佢唔係難啊，佢純粹煩嘅啫。咁而家我就問翻啦，喂，第五步啊，究竟有咩咁重要、啊？咁啊，重複多一次啦，成個第五步就話啦，喺實驗嘅過程當中咧。當我哋每做幾次嘅測試啫，即係將個卡尺咧 set 咗做呢個咩誒廿八 mm 啊、廿六 mm 啊、廿四 mm 啊，咁啊每測幾次之間咧，就要隨機地將個卡尺就將佢設置翻到零 mm， 就確保佢一定係一點嚟噶嘛，係咪啊？就令到個受試者咧，阿陳生咧，就能夠噏到俾我聽，我唔呢個咧係一點嘅刺激嚟嘅啫。佢就問返啦，呢一步有咩咁緊要啦？咁成條題目呢，就係、是、考返我哋啦，一個控制措施嘅重要性嘅角色嘅作用係乜嘢啦？亦都想我哋分辨得清呢咩叫有效性、準確性同埋可靠性。咁過往嘅題目呢，都問過有關於咩叫可靠同準確嘅。今年呢，終於問埋有效啦。四，第三呢，就係、是、想我哋去評估下實驗嘅步驟啊，點樣幫我哋可以減少到個誤差嘅。咁其實呢度題目呢，有一個好關鍵概念，大家要知道嘅。咁啊，頭先廿四條就講咗啦，我哋就想知道下喺個皮膚上面佢啲感應器嘅密度啊嘛，係咪密度越高呢，你嗰個測試嘅間距呢，其實就係越短嘅。但係呢個實驗仍然係好主觀、好 subjective 嘅。因為係個受試者話你聽，阿陳生話你聽噶嘛，所以個實驗就想啊測試下阿陳生究竟你有冇能力去區分得到一點刺激定係兩點嘅刺激。為咗肯定個結果係有效嘅，阿、啊、陳生咧，佢一定要係好準確到話到俾我聽，喂，佢係有能力去感受到呢個刺激，從而去話到俾我聽，而家係一點定係兩點嘅觸碰，就唔係透過去估啊。嗱，有咩嘅偏差啊？有咩嘅誤解啊？所導致嘅，唔係盲目目的咁樣去估嘅。誒，今次啊，誒一點啦，誒兩點啦，誒一點啦，啊，搞掂咗呢個實驗最關鍵嘅概念咧，我哋就嚟做一擊破咯。A 咧就講啦，我係為咗確保呢個測量係有佢嘅有效性，咁的確就係啦。第五步就係一個質量嘅檢查。係因為我想肯定阿陳生，佢真係喺零 mm 嘅時候，佢真係感受到一點嘅觸碰。如果佢做唔到呢一件事嘅話，咁佢其他嘅反應其實係咪應該都會被質疑噶？喂，一明明係一點嘅刺激，你都可以講咗兩點出嚟嘅，你係咪估嘅咋？咁、这、呢個實驗究竟有冇效㗎？你斷估嘅就嘛？咁所以啦，呢、这個實驗呢，就想確保到個實驗係能夠準確地量度到嗰個感應器嘅密度，呢、这個先係我哋嘅目標。所以我哋係唔容許陳生係亂咁答嘅。咁啊，喂，陳生嗱，去到零 mm， 你真係分得出咩叫一點觸碰㗎嘛？你你係知㗎嘛？係咪？啊，咁所以啦。答案咧就係 A 啦，跟住啦就到 B 咯喎 ，B 佢就話啦，我哋咧係想檢查下咧個實驗嘅準確性，但係其實第五步根本就唔關準確事，因為所謂嘅準確性係講緊我測量緊嘅數值同我真正測量嗰個實值。究竟接近嘅程度有幾多？就好似我哋射箭咧，射中紅心呢啲先叫做 accurate 準啊嘛，係咪？咁但係第五步啦，其實讀緊啲咩準啫？都唔係準唔準嘅問題。我想知道究竟陳生你知唔知咩叫一點㗎？呢一步咧係關個有效性事，就唔係個準確性事啦。咁所以 B 就錯咗啦。跟住啦，去到 C 咯，就係、是、為咗去提升呢個實驗嘅可靠性。咁其實啦，可靠性就係講緊實驗結果嘅一致性，係因為啦，我哋喺同一嘅情況底下進行實驗呢，想做到嘅就係減少誤差。依啦，就應該好似我喺第一條所講啦，喂，做多一兩次啦，你唔好淨係做一次啦，係咪 ？Repeat the test multiple times， 從而啦獲得一個一致性嘅數據。咁但係啦，第五步係咪做緊量度多幾次啊？唔係啊。我就係得閒測試下你零 mm， 你噏唔噏得出係一點觸碰啫嘛，係咪？唔錯啦，都唔係咧第五步嘅目標嚟嘅，所以 C 咧又係錯。跟住去到 D 啦，第五步咧就係話啦，想減少翻量度當中嘅隨機誤差、哦。咁所謂隨機誤差咧就係一啲啦，我哋根本係冇辦法去預計到嘅、預測到嘅一啲變化，例如啦一啲人為嘅誤差啦，或者環境嘅改變啦，即係例如啦個環境突然之間凍一凍咧，打個冷震，哎誒感應唔到喎，咁樣款，誒一係做多次啊，得唔得啊？感應唔到喎，誒一點啦，誒或者誒兩點啦，誒好似求其答咗你啦。但其實成個第五步呢，就係可以確保阿陳生
，你唔系乱咁估噶，从而啦，亦都唔会令到整个实验原来都系一个笑话嚟嘅。一个误差原来真系断估嘅啫，神咁唔关嗰啲感受戏事啦。咁至于随机误差系应该点样减少嘅呢？应该又系做多几次咯。头先我第一条未讲咗嘅，唔好做一次，做两次，做三次，做四次，做十次，啊，揾多啲同年纪嘅人做，然后啦，拉翻个平均数值，咁呢一个咧就系、是、可以减少个随机误差。不过第五步系咪做呢一样嘢啊？又唔系啊？咁所以啲咧。都係錯嘅。So after we talk about the IV and the assumption of the investigation, so now we are going to explain the importance of the step five in this experiment. So what is the step five? Over the course of the experiment, so we randomly use the caliper set at zero mm for every couple of the trials. It's important to make sure that the subjects, for example, Mr. Chen, tell you that they only feel one touch. When the caliper is set at zero mm, so this question only forty one percent student got it correct. So I can tell you that it's not that difficult. It's just a bit troublesome, and then to make you feel like that, I don't want to do this question. So for the concept checking, we need to realize the role of the control measures in the experiment, and then we need to differentiate the validity. Accuracy and the reliability of the result of the whole experiment. So in the past, we checked the concept of the reliability and the accuracy. This year, finally, we talk about the validity, and we need to evaluate the experimental steps for the error reduction. So when doing this question, we need to realize the critical concept of this experiment. The experiment is to decide to measure the density of the touch receptor. On the skin, however, it's still a very subjective experiment because we rely on the subjects, Mr. Chen, to tell you, "Oh, I feel one touch, I feel two touch." Therefore, this experiment is really measuring the ability of the subjects, Mr. Chen, to distinguish between one and two touch stimuli. For the result to be valid. The response of the subjects, Mr. Chen, must accurately reflect their ability to sense the stimuli, rather than being influenced by guessing, bias, or misunderstanding. That's the idea that I really want to make sure the subjects can tell you they only feel one touch when the caliper is set at zero mm, right? So let's take a look at the options one by one. Option A. It ensures the validity of the measurement. Step five, it acts as the quality check for the subject's response. Okay, so remember that what is our expectation? I expect that Mr. Chen can tell you I feel one touch only when the caliper is set at zero mm. What if Mr. Chen cannot correctly identify one touch during zero mm trial? The response to other trial would be questionable. And this ensure the investigation accurately measure the density of the touch receptor in the skin, which is the goal of the experiment, right? I want the whole experiment is valid. I want the data is valid, but not challenged by other people say that ah,、oh, Mr. Chen is just randomly give you the answer one touch, two touch. No, 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 not valid. I don't want it. Therefore, option A is correct, and then option B. Steps five it checks the accuracy of the experiment, so we can see that actually step five is not directly about accuracy. Accuracy, what does it mean? It refers to how close the measure is to the true value. For example, the exact distance at which subject can distinguish two points. So it's just like that. We do the shooting in the Olympic game, and then we can shoot the center of the goal. So it's accurate, right? However, steps five. Does not measure or compare any actual distance. It only ensure the subjects, Mr. Chen, can correctly identify one touch when the caliper is set at zero mm. It tests for the validity, not the accuracy. Therefore, option B is wrong. And then option C, step five, it improves the reliability of the measurement. Reliability refers to the consistency of the result when the experiment is repeated under the same condition in order to reduce the error. So reliability would be improved. 
by repeating the test multiple times. Now, it's just like what I did in the first question. Do the first trial, second trial, or even three, four, five trials to get a consistent result. But it's not the purpose of the step five. Therefore, option C is also wrong. And therefore, option D. Step five reduce the random error of the measurement. Random error refer to the unpredictable variation in data due to the factor like human error or the environmental changes. Let's say the temperature suddenly drops and then Mr. Chen just shivering for a very short moment. <clears throat> then he cannot tell one touch, two touch. And then he may just give out the answer by guessing. So step five, ensure that the subjects are not guessing or making any systematic error when identify one touch. Say, maybe Mr. Chen thinks that every three times I will say that one touch sensation. So make it systematic error for the whole experiment, right? So for the random error, it could be minimized by conducting multiple trials and averaging the result. It's just like what I did in the question one, right? However, it's not the focus of the step five. Therefore, option D also wrong.